Welcome back to Partners Dog School. We return back to Scott and Cheryl who showed up today to pick up their other puppy Nash and gave us insight into how things were going the last few days back home with his brother Booker. There's definitely times where I'm like, oh, we're confusing him. Are we allowed, like we want him to be free, like we have like, his free spots basically are the living room and the kitchen because we block up, the, the hallway has nothing, just closed doors. Yeah. And then we have a gate up here to the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. And when we're in the kitchen and living room, you know, we like him being free with us, but does he have to be by our side? Are we supposed to keep him crate, place, the whole time? If you, know? you want them to be free, they can be free as long as they're not doing naughty dog behaviors okay. or regressing to the behaviors you saw before camp. I continue to explain the importance of accountability in the home life once Scott and Cheryl bring back Nash into the picture at home and told them that although they can allow both of them to be free around the house, there still needs to be a level of boundaries and structure for both Booker and Nash in order to keep the training we've established strong and reinforced. Their daughter Sam also stopped by for a quick visit to see Nash and we explained to her as well that she needed to be an active participant with the training in order to keep it a success. All of them were on the same page and both Megan and I felt confident having them leave with Nash and told them we looked forward to the follow-up in about a week. Hi, my name is Cheryl Bell. Uh, this is Booker. Uh, he is a rescue from Desert Lab Rescues. Uh, they came to us when they were 11 months old and uh, definitely needed some training. They are doing exceptionally good at home. Um, they could even do the free mode a lot, but then they listen to us, let's say 90% of the time. We have a, a few kinks we need to work out. Um, some of the things we still need to work out with him is probably he gets distracted with other animals around, but he did very, very good today in the training session as well. Hi, I'm Scott, and this is my uh, one of my two boys, Nash. Nash and Booker, they're brothers, as Cheryl said. Nash, uh, when we got them both, he uh, was just total full of energy and uh, couldn't get his attention to do anything. He wouldn't come, he wouldn't sit, he wouldn't down. So we needed, we knew that we had to work with them both and just trying to find the right time and the right place. And we came to partners and uh, left them for two weeks, which is kind of a hard thing to do, leaving your, your two puppies for two weeks. But um, during that time frame, we we're really impressed with what they did. Uh, Nash is pretty good now. He'll, he'll sit on command, he'll go down, he'll come. Only thing is he has a little bit of trouble still distractions with his balls and toys that we're working on, but we're getting better. And uh, just going through partners, it was uh, a great investment because now we're enjoying our dogs much, much more. Um, we can bring them with us more places and uh, it's just been better for them because they understand us better and we understand them better, so. All right, so today we finished up our follow-up lesson with Scott and Cheryl with Booker and Nash, and they absolutely rocked it. I was so proud of the fact that not only did Scott walk Booker and Nash in together, but they also spent the time working on the thresholds. Being able to watch the dogs go from bolting through every door that they saw to being able to pause, engage with them, and then go through the door was absolutely amazing. I also spent a little bit of time today with Cheryl going over some impulse control with Booker, Booker being the foodie he is, being able to drop the food, Booker leaving it, acknowledging Cheryl and getting rewarded for that was also amazing. We also were able to work on a little bit of impulse control with Nash around the toy. The toy is his kryptonite, and so we were able to have him go on to place, acknowledge a squeaker, and still remain where he was at. They definitely still have a lot of work, but the progress is absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to see them in the in-home and see how they are in their own environment. But overall, super, super proud of both Cheryl and Scott. They've made so much progress with Booker and Nash and their relationship looks so much better. After a couple weeks back home, Scott and Cheryl called me up and invited me over to their house for an in-home follow-up lesson. To wrap up what we covered, both Scott and Cheryl had mentioned some difficulties with both boys staying on their place beds in the living room. I worked the both of them through practicing distance and duration with several challenging exercises, and both Booker and Nash did a great job staying put. They then described how Nash was way too focused on his ball when he would play outside, and so I worked Scott through a simple exercise of having Nash redirect his attention towards the treat game. Essentially, I had Scott start off by throwing treats onto the ground for Booker and then eventually getting Nash's attention. By the end of it, Nash would give up his favorite toys, and I told Scott to then pair that with the command, leave it. 
With enough time and practice, I told both of them that Nash will learn the leave it command and give up his toys and playtime when it was time to eat. Okay, so we just finished Booker and Nash's follow-up lesson, and they did pretty good. I was a little anxious, wasn't quite sure how much practice mom and dad were gonna get at home given their work schedules, but they were doing really well. I could tell they have the drive, they have the heart, they want to be better for their dogs, and I saw that today. They need a little bit extra help on that handling, but Booker and Nash worked beautifully for them. They still need some impulse control practice with their toys, but I have full faith in them. Learning for two, your dog and you, partnersdogs.com.